Israel's April 9th national elections will pit long-term Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his Likud party against the challenges of former military chief Benny Gantz's Blue and White Party. But the proportional nature of Israel's poll will make the results messy, and in a divided Israel, the results are likely to be narrow. Yet no matter who wins, Israel's political center has firmly moved to an increasingly nationalist place. The erosion of the old political order is giving way to an Israel where the old left, who wished to trade occupied Palestinian land for peace with the Arab and Muslim world, is weaker than ever. On April 10th, it's the 40th anniversary of the Taiwan Relations Act. The anniversary will be a chance for senior U.S. officials to visit Taiwan and highlight the growing potential of a Chinese-U.S. escalation over the country, which Beijing considers a rogue province. That'll top off other developments in the area after Chinese fighter jets slipped into Taiwanese airspace recently. As this cornerstone legislation that binds America to Taiwan's independence hits its fourth decade, we'll be keeping an eye out for how this long-standing conflict plays out. On April 11th, a week-long election will test Prime Minister Modi as he, as he eyes a second term. Investors will want to watch to see whether Modi can replicate his magic. India's $2.6 trillion economy is rapidly expanding, but has failed to produce the millions of jobs Modi promised under his Make It in India campaign. And if the arguments of an unwieldy opposition alliance led by the Indian National Congress actually resonate, we could see a return to the old coalition era of government. Such a turn would complicate the already challenging task of advancing economic reforms.